Hey guys, T in here. I'm gonna show you how to service your kite pump. So you can't really buy spares for these kite pumps in terms of seals and valves, etc., because they're just too cheap. It's not worth the brands, you know, making those spare parts. So in order to get the most life out of your pump, I'd recommend maintaining it in the following way. So essentially just opening the pump up, cleaning out all the muck, and then lubing it with some WD-40. So to start this process, first step, just disconnect your hose from the pump itself. And and undo any sort of strings or anything on that. So the first question to ask here is when do you need to service your pump? Generally speaking, if you can hear your pump kind of squeaking when you pump or it feels very rough when you pull that pump in and out, then it's probably a good time to service your pump. Another good way to tell whether your pump needs a service or not is if you pull the handle up and the handle doesn't come down automatically by itself, that's generally a good indication that you need to service your pump and you need to lube that pump. So the first step is to just unscrew this top here it might require a bit of force but just un unscrew that like that once you've unscrewed that completely pull the pump out completely like that and put this piece aside Try not get any additional dirt on those seals and valves at the bottom. Then the next step is to just grab some tissue and wipe out all the gunk that you can see there at the bottom of your pump and just clean the casing as much as you can. A good tip is to just get a, get a plastic bag so that you don't make a huge mess and um, wipe all that gunk out into that plastic bag. As you can see there, that is the gunk that we need to get out of there. So just continue wiping that until you've got all of that gunk out of there. Okay, there we go. As you can see there, that's a lot cleaner than what it was. Then you can put this piece aside and the next step is to grab the main shaft and do exactly the same here. So clean all the gunk off the seals um, and the valves at the bottom as well, as well as clean the shaft as well. Then once you've cleaned off as much of the gunk there as you can, now it's gonna be time to lube everything. So clean your hands. <laughs> Then in terms, in terms of the lube that we're gonna use, everyone seems to recommend WD-40. I don't think it makes too much of a difference to be honest, but I'd recommend just sticking with WD-40 given that most of the guys use this. So give that a shake. Then we're gonna need to spray both the casing and the shaft as well as the valves and seals at the bottom. So start by just giving the inside of this just a little bit of a spray. So that should be good. Then we're gonna to need to spray the shaft and everything. So I don't wanna spray this all over my camera, but we'll spray this down like that. So just give that a little bit of a spray on there and then all over the valves and the seals at the bottom. And then also on the bottom itself. There we go. I think that should be good. From here, put everything back together. So put your seal back in there. Just make sure that everything sits in there nicely. It might take a little bit of um, persuasion to get the seals back in there correctly, but just be gentle not to rip anything. So slowly work your, your seals back in there. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then push that down. Okay. Then from there, screw everything back together. And then just give that a couple kind of spins and turns just to get that lube everywhere. And there you have it. That is servicing your pump. That'll make your pump last extremely long. So just as a reference, I've had this pump. This was the first pump I ever bought. Um, that was about two years ago. So, so if you maintain your pump, it'll last for ages and it'll just, it will never give you any problems. It won't leak, it won't give up, etc. So definitely do that. It'll save you money, save you time, save you hassles on the beach. Hope that was helpful. See you in the next one. Bye for now.